Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Whip Update. We are jumping in for yet another whip run. This time we have the Starvation Hex Penance Heals, but food and healing potions no longer drop. Ooh, that's kind of difficult. So essentially, we have to get rid of a lot of curses in order to heal up. Um, sounds interesting, sounds difficult. I'm going to jump on in. we got the Phoenix here, of course. Uh, the Phoenix does indeed um, level up upon healing, so... Oh, I should have bought those three bombs. I have no idea why I didn't. That was a little bit of a misplay there. We do have quite a few shops in a bottle here, and we just started with um, with our strength potion. So I'm guessing with the shops in a bottle, we kind of want to just use them immediately. Like, that seems like the most sensible idea. We'll definitely take that, that, um, that. Do you know what? Let's just do that and get six strength right off the bat. That sounds like a great idea. I'll pop another one of those. Go down once more. And we've got a shop and a shop and a shop and a shop. This is actually an achievement as well if you manage to do this. Um, yeah, extra secret rooms is really good with the map. So this is very good. We'll buy that too. And we'll use another shop and a shop and a shop and a shop. So I don't know if this counts towards achievements. But this would be a really quick way to get some achievements. Um, okay, good. Good. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Uh, we should take a float boots as well, and let's get gone. Okay, I'm very happy with the start of this run so far. Um, starting with uh, the map, extra secret rooms, and six strength is pretty amazing. So, I do wonder, are we are we able to heal off of other things? Like, uh, if can, can we get like the golden tooth and stuff like that? Ooh, regeneration here is rather nice. I'll take that. Thank you. That's pretty good healing. I'm guessing that this healing from regeneration will work as well, which is also good. But yeah, we definitely want to go for, like, cleave and stuff at the minute because we have just a great amount of uh, damage on our swing. Now, one thing I will say right now is that um, we uh, we are a bit slow because we just spent the, the first part of the stage basically messing around. Okay, we can, we can get this. We can get this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And we could just speed along, go to all of our secret rooms. Having the map is just such a great idea. But yeah, I wonder, like, I bet there's some good tactics in when you decide to use those triple potions. Honestly, looking at what we got, I think using them on the first floor is, is pretty beneficial, to be honest. We got some really good items. Oh, yes, the turtle shell is so good. And it's turtle, so it makes me happy. Uh, right. So... I think we go for, um, let's just go for more strength here. Let's just pile that sky high. Um, I think that's going to be pretty good. Okay. You are doing your thing, sir. I'm going to let you destroy some of these as well. Got a star sip potion here. Try and keep him alive a little bit and let him, uh, let him do some stuff here. You destroyed my bomb, sir. That was very rude. And then one last, one last little charge. Just because this guy can give you quite a lot of good stuff from charging into stuff. I'm definitely very annoyed at myself for not picking up all those bombs that last floor. There's so many secret rooms here. I mean, we might end up being fine. I should just saw. I've got two bombs back for that. But I just feel like it could be a little bit of a waste. Let's just go straight down. Of course, we're trying to build up our score, build up our curses, all that good shamaz. So let's just keep on it. Oh, yeah. I love having, like, this full mapping. It's so good. It's, it's one of the items in the game that I... I, I wouldn't even say it's underappreciated, but, like, it doesn't get as much love. Or at least I don't think it gets as much love as I think it deserves. Yeah, you chill out, sir. You chill out. Good, good. And there you go. Look, another bomb bag. Awesome. Go to our shop here. Hopefully our shop can provide us with quite a lot of good stuff extra keys. we got the bounty here as well, which is potentially pretty good. We'll take the bounty. Uh, we'll grab that. We're definitely not going to be taking that potion. That it takes us 25% of our maximum HP for some random stuff, as well as giving us another one back. Um, a, a random chance, but I don't, I don't want to do that. I do not want to lose health unnecessarily here at all. We can use this on these guys, just because they're very easy to kill. Double the keys. We do still have this um, this popcorn kernels potion to receive a few more uh, keys and stuff should we get the opportunity. Okay, good. 
you're dead and you are dead. I really should have uh, tried to utilize one of those guys to bomb this wall for free, but I didn't. It's okay. Uh, I'm not going to spend a bomb on that chest. It's honestly not likely to be worthwhile. We're doing really good on consumables right now, though. I'm very happy with what we've got going on. Extra little one of these as well. That's pretty good. Gauntlet just gives us that little bit of extra armor. I feel like that's going to be pretty important later on. As well as meaning that we have technical healing that we can buy that isn't actual healing. Good, good. Another one of these. And there's some armor right there. Look, so we can grab that. And I'm pretty sure we can grab that with throw as well, which is even better. Uh, oh, that was kind of close. That was kind of close. Keep destroying our boxes here so you can get some more good stuff. Okay. I know that there's bombs about, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of let them go. Black Rabbit here could be useful. Um, do you know what? Ah, bugger. I was going to say that would have been quite good, but <laughs> the game gave us a little bit of trolling. Just a little bit of trolling. Um, okay, so there's some good stuff here. Definitely. And this is what I meant about having the armor look. Now the shop just sells purely armor. Um, I think that's going to be really good. I'm going to take more regeneration here, actually. We've not been hit yet, so we're feeling good about that. Transmute items in a small circle and make some fragile. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to take my biscuits and be on my way. Go in here as well. We are getting a very small amount of XP for our bed every time regeneration heals us. And as well, I, I believe whenever Phoenix heals, it applies an inflammation effect. Um, heals whenever we receive damage. Okay, so we do have a little bit of extra healing from the Phoenix itself as well. Good. We do a lot of damage with our swing at the minute. This is very good. Relic room here. It's going to give us something new. Um, damage of thrown pickaxe increases as it travels further. Okay. I don't think that'll be super useful for us, but definitely gives more of a reason to have increased throw distance and increased reason to throw at a distance. That seems to be a, a relatively large increase as well. It's good. Relatively large increase here. Good. Double the bombs here. Really nice. We're keeping more than enough bombs to easily go to our secret rooms. Sadly, we are going to find some of these secret rooms that, that obviously just contain gold that we don't need. Uh, I'm not going to bother with it. Do you know what? This is a good enough place to use this. We're going to get an extra two bombs, an extra si uh, extra six bombs, sorry, extra two keys. Uh, right, let's keep going. We Did we use our altar in a bottle? We did, didn't we? Let's keep going. So far, this challenge isn't seeming too bad, but it's it's when we start taking a lot of damage that this challenge gets a bit uh, a bit more tricky. Um, I'll take some metabolism, extra potion. I mean, there's not really that many potions we can use, really, is there? But still, could be good. I'm gonna bomb my way through to all of these, all three secret rooms right off the bat. It's really nice. And honestly, actually, extra um, extra swing. Is it swing size? This yeah, extra swing size on with slightly higher duration seems like a good idea. Probably should have used it on the boss. Thinking about it, but not the end of the world that we didn't. God damn, this turtle shell thing slowing down all the projectiles is so very good. Yeah, I kind of felt that one coming. Sadly, we did get a measly amount of damage on us there. Damage that I should not have received. There's our armor back. Good, good. Hey, yet another great potion for us here. And honestly, let's just take that and pop it. And boom, boom. And again, let's just take that and pop it. We're not precious about our money at the moment, so just keep popping everything we can. This is a lot of projectiles coming our way here. That was very scary, but we, we got through it. Uh, we will open this. Of course, curses. There's, there's, there's always the potential of getting something really bad. Disable two blessings. You fucker. You absolute fucker. Okay, so we unfortunately got one of the worst things possible. And we just lost all seven, all eight, sorry, of our strength ups. Um, which means we actually uh, don't do anywhere near as much damage as we were doing previously. Increase the cost of shop. I yeah, we don't really care about that either. 
Um, so that's that's a little annoying that we received that, and there's not really a good way of uh, getting rid of that care specifically. But we'll we'll see what we what we want to do. We might want to get rid of it. We might not. Because we've got, we've got to remember, at the end of the day, if we're still killing stuff easily enough and we're getting a lot of score because of the Curse Multiplier, then we don't have to worry about it all too much. And we're back at full health again as well, which is really good. We're about to run out of our uh, swing size here, but I'm going to utilize it for when I can. Yeah, there you go. Easy kill on you. Yeah, we, you can see that we, we've lost our damage, yes, but we've still got good damage, so it's not a big deal. I do have some rerolls here at the minute, but I'm kind of saving these rerolls for uh, if we find a, a like a shop with multiple relics in it or something, rather than just our regular item room, or if our item room is like really, really bad, if it's like completely worthless to us. We did get hit on armor there because I would, I'm a bit of a stupid and uh, walked over the spikes unknowingly, but that's fine. Uh, double keys here. Nice. 11 and 11. We're looking good on the consumable front. That's at least good. Grab this. I'm going to take regeneration again, honestly. I think that the building up some reliable healing is rather nice here. I don't like this jump. That jump was kind of horrible. Oh, yes. This is so good. Even more armor. Even more armor pips is so valuable for us right now. Because we're going to be getting just a hell of a lot of armor basically everywhere we go. Right. What do you have for me, shop? There's our armor. Average the level of our blessings. Um, I don't really think we need to do that. I kind of want to remove some curses here to try and get rid of that, get our thing back, but I really don't think it's worth it. Grab that. Wait, what? Uh, how exactly did I not get into that secret room there? I don't really know how that works. Anyways. Let's pretend it didn't happen and go through this way. Ah, sadly this one we need fire to do. you got to light these up with fire. Ooh, this one can be very good, but it's normally very good for just money. This is one of the secret rooms where if you find it while you're try while you're still building your character, it's incredibly valuable because it gives you so much gold potentially. Right, keep going. We're doing good so far. We're doing good so far. We've not really been hit that much, which is a really good start. Vorpal Blade's incredible here, thank you. Why does it do that sometimes where you can't get into secret rooms? It should let you know if you can't get into a secret room because I'm just wasting bombs at this point. Yeah, Vorpal Blade allows us to swing twice as well as move while swinging. Really, really valuable. Double keys again. Hopefully get some more bombs out of these. Got ourselves a chest. Good, good. Ah, unfortunately, we're getting some of these secret rooms that really aren't worth much to us. But we've got to go to them because you can find uh, a guy called Tuss that uh, if you give him a bunch of money, he allows you to basically just pick whatever relic you want and we can build ourselves a really, really, really strong build. Holy shit. The, um, the extra, what's it called? Uh, slowdown of those projectiles. It's insane. I know I keep banging on about it, but it's really good. Definitely want some exuberance here. Shop once again. What do you hold for me? The doll is not great. Transmute all carried relics. That would be rather spicy, I think. Um, the doll isn't great here because uh, we want curses. So maybe we transmute the doll. Let's try it. I'm just going to try one transmute on the doll. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Not the best, not the worst. My god. Got all of them. Lovely. Let's 
Nice, managed to get most of those without taking any damage. We are doing really well in terms of survivability here. We've, we've not taken basically any damage at all throughout this whole run. And the armor just staves off that even more. If we can get the uh, the pauldrons as well, not pauldrons, the, the, the greaves, the leggings, and get three pips of armor, that'd be super good. Armor there. Even these projectiles, the fire's like massively slowed down there. Just stacking up on the regen. We'll open that up. We've got enough. Yeah, as you can see, we're not really getting too much from uh, from some of these secret rooms here. It's just kind of luck of the draw, isn't it? That's a good one, though. A return on our investment, at least. Be careful of these spiders. They can be bloody annoying. Just they poison you and it slows you down. And it leaves you very susceptible to other damage. As well as doing a good amount itself. Shop. Here we are. Shops are going to always be one of the most valuable things for us here. There they are. Wow. There they are. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that, but I'm very happy to see it. Good, good. We got three pips of armor. Like, like it's kind of hard to tell how, like, how vetted some of these runs are. Like... Is this one vetted to the point where it has all these items on purpose because of the ke the hex that we've got? Or is it just complete random luck and that's sometimes just what happens? I think it is just random luck, to be honest. That's really good for us here. Allows us to swing away projectiles and with Vorpal Blade that uh, leads to some good action. Honestly, we've got more than enough keys to make this worthwhile. Let's check it. So we could sell her a relic. I don't think there's anything we have that we really would like to sell her. Um, that's potentially quite worthwhile, so I'll take that. And we'll be on our merry way. On our merry way. Feeling very good. This will be the exit, yeah. Don't care for that right now. I don't think... Oh, it did. I guess I don't think that'd reach, but it did. Extra bombs there as well. Lovely. Just very sad about Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud has made things slightly annoying for our swing damage. And later on, it doesn't impact us really that much at the minute, but later on it'll make a difference. God damn your slow projectiles, sir. They are very slow. See anything we want to re-roll here. This is Ara. I'm 100% going to re-roll this. Ara prevents curses. We don't want to prevent curses. Float boots, however, very, very nice for us here. Uh, allows us to easily um, walk over gaps like this. And walking over gaps, potentially at least, can get us a lot of extra stuff. Not always, but potentially. I mean, also it allows us to do stuff like this and walk around and avoid certain more annoying enemies. Do you know what? I should go back into that room there and, uh, and destroy that, that uh, TNT barrel to destroy the rocks because it could give us a crawl space. It didn't. Got to try it though, haven't you? Got to try it. I've right, got a secret room over here. I'm still happy that we're not really running out of bombs or keys here. It's been good. Uh, that doesn't matter to us, unfortunately. We do not need gold right now. Shop here. We got reduce the bomb cooldown. Isn't really that necessary, is it? Uh, really don't think so. We will carry another one of these. I'm sure leave that for now. I don't really. I mean, I guess we might as well buy it, but I don't really get like like I don't really need it for anything. I'm gonna go with more regen. Honestly, I'm playing the safety game. Regen isn't that good, but five healing per room. When it's, we don't have a great source of healing otherwise, we'd have to remove our curses. It's pretty good. Now, I doubt we're going to take too much damage anyways, because these three pips of armor, as well as shots having just an insane amount of armor on them, is, is very, very good. Being able to move while swinging here makes this a breeze. I did lose two pips of armor there, because I'm stupid. That was literally the only reason that happened. I'm playing with fire. Yeah. 
Easy kill on him. No damage taken. Lovely. I will take the gold this time, though. We'll actually get an uh, okay amount there. And up we go. We got float boots. We can just run straight across here. Nice, nice. And away we go. We're, we're, we're blasting through the floors fairly quick. I have to say, our score isn't particularly high. I think that this is going to be a very competitive uh, whip. I think that people are going to have really good scores. But I am doing this rather early in the morning, which means that there shouldn't be too much competition on the leaderboards yet. The, the whip only switched over a few hours ago, so shouldn't be too competitive. Shop, what do you hold for me? A reroll again is really good, so I'm just going to pop one of these now so I've got some space. That doubles armor as well. Interesting. Did not know that. Did not know that. But yeah, now I got another reroll just in case. They're always va valuable to keep around. But yeah, as you can see now is where I kind of wish I had the damage again. Because our damage is fine, but it could be better. Careful with fire here. I'll check in here for a curse chest. Just a regular chest, sadly. Don't take my potion, little pilfers. My little goobers. Not what I want you to do. Yeah, our damage is absolutely fine, but it could do to be a little bit better. There we go. Destroyed through all of that. Hey, that's pretty good. We get some gold. That could really, that could synergize really nice with something like Golden Tooth. Good, good, good. Feeling very happy right now about our situation. Um, and now I'm going to take Exuberant. Things are worth more. We're going to bomb this. We got Empty Cofters. Isn't too bad. We got Double Throw Speed, which is decent. Don't mind that at all. There he is. Also a doggy. So, b depending on how much gold you give this guy, depends on how much you get. So, if we give him, like, three, three, zero, zero, zero. Wait. Zero. Yeah, give him, give him like, half of our money. He gives us a, a, a dank tune. Absolutely dank tune. Toast my little fella. And now, we get this, where we can literally select any of these relics. Now, it's debatable what's best here. There's a lot of good stuff, as you can see. Um, I, I feel like the, the Paladin Shield is always going to be really good for us. Um, the Twisted Blade could be very good, because that's a lot of extra crit gems. Um, this is very good. Pilfer's Gift could be good, because it gives us more, more of that. Um, Ursa Major could be good. This is a tough one. The tough one. Uh, I think the charm could also be very valuable as well. Uh, the charm would lead to um, a lot more healing. Or maybe we just go with this. I'm going to go with the Master's Pickaxe, actually. The Master's Pickaxe allows us to do that. Oh, shit. What the hell? What just happened? Oh, I got Poison Mushroom. Um, What the fuck just happened exactly? Why did I get cursed? And he started playing metal music. I have to admit, I have absolutely no idea, but we got a curse for free, so I can't complain, although it was Poison Mushroom, which is one of the worst curses in the entire game. Um, okay, intriguing. <laughs> Apparently destroying his bag or whatever it was that I destroyed is, is not good. But yeah, as you can see, now we have this. I think Master's Pick is a great pickup here, because we're going to be at max health a lot. Just due to uh, the armor that we have and the nature of this challenge. But we definitely need the remove specific curse potion, like, pretty fucking sharpish. Because uh, we need to remove poison mushroom. It will it will devastate this run if we don't. More regen. And we got ourselves... Enemies fire an arrow, that's fine. I can deal with that. We should probably start picking up some gold now, to be honest. I, 
feel like I should grab that, but unless we can remove a specific curse, removing just a random one isn't really good enough. It's too much of a gamble. But yeah, so now we've got a, a much higher chance of getting hit because of this firing arrows business, which uh, we need to be careful of. But the arrows are incredibly slow, which is really good. And armor is readily available as well, so... Yeah, we just gotta be careful about the uh, about the arrows coming in. But like I said, I think that we should actually have a, a mighty fine time dealing with them. A lot of bombs in there. There you go, duplicate all of those. We got another bomb out of that rock for some reason. And an anti-matter potion. Okay, I'll take that too. Thank you. God damn, but yeah, you can see our health just going down and down and down. But if we manage to remove it somehow by getting an ether potion or whatever, then we can at least get that health back. Definitely grab that. Meal ticket here literally does nothing for us. So if we can re-roll it, we should. Keyblade here is great. The more keys we have, for every key we have, we get plus two damage. So we're on plus 32 now. That makes up a lot for the lacking in strength uh, blessings. Good, good. Boom, boom. Yeah, I like this. This setup is pretty good. It's just about keeping sort of on it in terms of watching our, uh, watching that with the arrows coming in and stuff. Why did I do that? I don't really know. I was swinging like crazy at those and then I was like, oh wait, I don't just swing at those at all, what am I doing? Well, like situations like that, you can see the arrows were super close to us there. And as well, we can reflect the arrows by swinging at them, which is another big bonus for us. Like, it really doesn't... Oh, I did get hit by one of them. <laughs> that was a bit stupid. Um, it doesn't matter too much for us, to be honest. Crack on this again. More regeneration is going to be good always. Mm, sadly, you don't have anything we need. There's no relic we'd like to remove, really. That's a lot of stuff, but not really anything that useful. Right, shop. Please give us an ether potion. We need it so bad. Food duplication is completely valueless for us, unfortunately. Um, an immolation. We can grab that, at least. We should probably just use this as well, because it's uh, a potion that gives us flight, and we, uh, we already can fly, so pretty valueless as well. Okay, stop getting hit by random stuff. Let's go back in here and grab some more armor. But yeah, we, we should be able to most likely stay pretty solid on our armor. I'm hoping. Like I'm getting hit a lot, but if we have to, we can backtrack, backtrack to the shops. Unfortunately, this doesn't do anything for us either, but we can't do anything but take it. So I'm just going to take it. Let's keep it going. Keep her going. And yeah, this is just kind of an exciting run. It's just, it's just a shame that we got Poison Mushroom. It's uh, one of those one of those curses that I wouldn't say ruins the fun, but it can it can make things a little tricky, I'm sure. And this this uh, master pick is just so good. It makes our life so much safer because we get we get range, but we get swing damage for it. That's really good. The longer we can go without getting hit, the more damage we keep 100 plus damage. And that's insane because we're really not getting hit that much at the minute either. So, really good for us. Um, go with the health and damage increase. It's good. Oh, we can go into our secret rooms here as well. Yeah, our, our score really isn't that good for where we are in the game right now. I have to admit. Thank you. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, that's just how it is. So 
We can't exactly improve our score much more. Crack that open. Deal less throw damage. That's fine because we don't really do throw damage. Another tip of regeneration. Just in case we need it. Good, good. Okay, good, good again. Ooh, we got uh, another cursed thing over here, I think. We didn't get cursed for it for some reason. More regen. And what's over here? Oh, there's our boss. Okay. Okay. I always get confused on this floor between the exit and the boss fight. The boss fight could definitely remove a lot of our armor, so we have to be careful about that. Good. Shop, what do you hold for me? Extra keys is extra damage. Blanket stops being set on fire. That's rather nice. Still looking for that potion, though. Gonna need it rather soon. Did get hit on armor there. Should have go back and quickly buy a pip of armor. Don't want to fight this boss without our full pips. Sadly, there's there's not much we can. There is a potion that can give us armor pips, but there's not many. There's like one potion in the entire game uh, that that drops armor for you. I don't know if potions that are meant to drop um, health will instead drop armor for us. I doubt that's the case. Okay, good. And let's go fight. This guy should not be too hard at all. We should kill him relatively quickly, I think. Just make sure we don't get hit by the hands. We can stay, like, like completely keep our distance from him, so that makes me think this is going to be a lot easier. And we can swing and move at the same time because of Vorpal, so I feel like that's another big bonus for us. These being really slow is a bit of a downside here. Oh, but we got him anyways, doesn't matter. It don't matter. Now, where we go? Okay, that was great. And on to the next floor. This is the floor where I think things get a little a little more tricky. This is also the floor where our score starts to go up quite exponentially. We should see a, a big improvement in our score right now. Empty chest. We're getting 10 healing per. But yeah, our obsidian knife now should mean that we're killing things almost instantly. We're dealing literally plus 100 damage on top of the damage we were dealing before. Should mean that we can get some rather nice kills here. Rather quick kills. No, thank you. Doesn't seem like a good trade to me. What the hell hit me then? Did I get hit by some spikes, probably? Probably just some spikes. Good, good. Shop will give us some more armor. Um, we might as well pop that and find some more secrets, because why not? Get something for free. Um, we don't really need that, because the thing is, normally I'd use that in a cursed shop, which we're likely to get pretty soon. But honestly, we want the curses from the cursed shop, so kind of an odd one. going this way. What do you got for us? I think more exuberance here makes the most sense. Swing speed is the lifeblood of our damage, so got another one of these little care shops here, which is always good. Uh, more armor pips or more altar rooms? I actually think more armor pips is more worthwhile. I realize that score multiplier wise, we probably want more, um, more altars, but survivability wise, having an extra armor pip is insane. And also I think we now have the full armor set, which I'm, I'm still surprised isn't an actual in-game set. It doesn't give you any bonus for having all of them at once. It really should. Oh, we got a cast rock there, cast fire. We got ourselves penance costs double. Does that mean penance will heal double? This penance heals now. Be kind of funny. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll grab that and use it. 
that's good. But yeah, four armor pips is a lot to have here. A lot, lot to have. Very happy with that. There's a curse relic as well we can get for another two armor pips, I think. Nice. First time we found one of these. And they're both empty. <laughs> of course. Uh, we're definitely going to reroll that because it has no use to us whatsoever. That's super good. Plus 47% crit chance is insane. Just stay out the way of that. Yeah, we're going to be critting basically all the time now, which is in incredible. Our bird is up to level 3 as well now. Phoenix will resurrect us if we fall. Very, very good. And let's just increase throw size. I don't really care about that. And away we go. And this is this is just a run now where essentially poison mushroom will end up killing us. But that's kind of all. Lose more gold on death. We really don't care about that at all. Sadly, nothing much. But yeah, like, like poison mushroom's the biggest, the biggest downside for our entire run. Okay, more armor there, lovely. Having it laying on the floor is good. Recycler doesn't really matter for us, but we'll take it. Recycler's just going to give us stuff when we destroy chests, which I don't really do that often, but hey ho. Sometimes the arrow flies off in weird directions as well, which is kind of helping out. Nice. Is that it? No, there's a spider over here as well. Got him. These arrows flying so slowly through the air every time. Um. Transmute an item by hitting it, I guess that's pretty good. That did work. I think it only works once per floor though, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It only works once per floor. Probably should have taken that, to be honest. In fact, we, we, we still can. Um, because the thing is, we'll, we'll be taking double damage, but we'll hopefully not be taking any damage at all. So why not double the damage that we're dealing? That seems like a great idea for, the, uh, for just anything, but also for the boss if we can make it there in time. Oh, wait a minute. I saw you there. That double cast fires? That gave us... Stalactites drops from the ceiling. We've not had that one before. And feel the wrath of plants. Intriguing? This could be, uh, this could be kind of scary. Okay, let's not get hit by that when it blows up. Good. good. God damn, the, the noise that that thing makes. I thought it was outside of the game. Some scary stuff going on here. We've got enough armor though for me to feel good, but we now, the wrath of the plants thing is really bad. We have to, yeah, there you go. It's, it's, just, it's done exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't do already. Immediately, immediately fucked me. Great. Okay, so we still got great damage. Don't worry about that. Like the obsidian knife was good, but it wasn't like the thing we needed to stay alive. The Wrath of the Plants thing is incredibly bad. Basically, plants just constantly um, spew out. Oh, hello, it's you. Uh, constantly just spew out poison. And obviously, if poison hits us, that's terrible. Gold 2D is really good. Uh, yeah, these plants, sort of these sort of things, just spew out poison. I can't believe one hit me immediately on the next floor. I knew it was a, a good chance of happening once we got that, but it's still annoying that it happened immediately. And there you go, I've been hit again. Like... The thing is, Master Pick is only active when you're at full health, so pretty bad. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the 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 plants wrath one is gonna get me killed. Definitely gonna get me killed. There's just there's plants everywhere, and you don't notice them normally. We at least do have a nice amount of healing now from all of this. Look. 
So we're at full health again. Extra shop is nice here. Good, good. That's pretty good for us here. Oopsie. That's good. That's good. Oh, right, yeah. Bit, bit upsetting that we lost our obsidian knife so soon. But that's just kind of the way it gotta be. Just kind of the way it gotta be. Game done shafted us with the poison. And obviously the poison aims at you too. It's not even just like there's poison everywhere. There's poison everywhere. The, po the poison is specifically being fired at you. Like, look at that. I've been poisoned again. And poison's really bad for us because it just destroys all of our armor so fast. And it's so hard to keep an eye on as well. Like, so difficult. But it's, it's also really hard. Yeah, like, I got I got hurt by the poison again. And I, just, I just, I can never see it coming. The wrath of the plants is bad. But we're, we're able to stay at full health relatively easily, though, which is good. Right, boss fight time. Hope for the best here. Going in with no armor makes this very difficult. Because we're going to lose this pretty damn quickly, I think. There's no plants in here, though, is there? No. That's good, at least. Good. Okay, one more cycle and he's dead. Pretty easy killing him, actually, there. Yeah, so this is this has definitely gotten a lot more scary because of this plant thing. I do think that this area has less plants, if I'm right. The the gold core. Hey, we finally got a care shop as well. Been waiting a while for that. Nullstone is incredible here. Uh, it gave us a lot of bad shit. A lot of really bad shit. Um, but Null Stone means that once a room we can take a hit without it dealing damage. Would have loved to have got that before our Obsidian Knife. Okay, so there is still plants down here. Just be careful. Oh, we got Flight. Why did I even do that? I could have just gone around with the whole thing. Okay, so enemies here are actually surviving what we're throwing at them a lot. Oh, damn, there is actually plants everywhere. We have good amounts of healing, though, which is amazing. Really good amounts of healing. Ow, what the... Also, crits are giving us gold on killing an enemy, too, which is another source of healing for us. That back up to full health, I think it is. Nah, either way, we're getting back up to full now. It's just keeping an eye on them, just making sure that we don't we don't lax. Oh, that's that, like my almost got me there. Keeping an eye on the plants is what I mean. So difficult to do. If you walk into a room and it's just it's not the first thing you pay attention to at all, but it's the first thing you kind of have to pay attention to now. Okay, we got our thingy back now. The range on this thing makes it super valuable. <laughs> Let's just keep going. This is such a wacky one. Definitely don't want galoshes right now, thank you. This is such a wacky one. We should be able to win this, but honestly, our score here isn't that good. I see you though. Oh, God. You see? See what I mean? Um... We should go for Savagery now. We, we're, we're getting crits quite a lot. So even more crits is very, very good. Gotta remember we do have a free revive as well from our bird. From our phoenix. Like, look at that. There's just plants and they, they have like no sort of period of cooldown before they can shoot you when you enter a room. They can just start shooting you immediately. Which is why I got hit upon entering the other room uh, the first time. Lost my obsidian knife. A lot of gold right there. Oh, 
Wow, things are dying quick. Poison, I see you. I see you. Don't think that I don't. Okay. Chest. Let's grab everything possible. That's scary. Destroy any plants that are close to me. I'm really going to try and focus on that now. It's way more important than anything else. We lose all of our armor if we don't focus on that. There's a plant there as well that I can't seem to get. And they can shoot you from so far away as well. I'm actually running out of bombs here. Damn it. Yeah, we're actually running out of bombs here quite quickly, but we should be fine. We should be good for the rest of this floor. Throwing stars, fine, I guess. Allows us to throw through walls, which could allow us to destroy plants a little easier, which is always nice. Let's go. Health is getting quite low now from Poison Mushroom, but we've only got a few floors remaining, so we should be okay. Let's throw a bomb back, thank you. Don't get set on fire, please. Okay, we've got armor there that we know about. That's good. Goddamn plants. Fuck off. Leave me alone. I remember when they first added that curse and I got it and I, I, I shot myself. Yeah, I had not I had a feeling there was a hit coming in there. These enemies are pretty difficult. Good. good. Sequence breaker. I re I, uh, sequence breaker could be good because we can throw through walls, so it means we can get to places we normally wouldn't be able to, I guess. Not a bad thing. Again, another antimatter is good to just grab and take. Two plants right there. You all dead? Nope, you're not. One of you over there. I see you. Tricky bastards. This room right here is awful. Wow. I don't even know what's going on right now. How is... Wow, you survived a lot there. Okay, that was, that was scary. I see your plants. I'm not letting you get me. I'm not letting you get me. Uh, exuberance again. Exuberance is always the way to go. Always. So I, I'm thinking this is probably going to be like a like a a 300k score. Nah, it's going to be more than 300. It's, it, might, it might be like 450. Why didn't it pick that up then? Oh, wait, there you go. It picked it up. Yeah, I think it's going to be like something like 450. I don't think it's going to be incredible. But I think we're going to do okay. This is the last floor, right? Last floor? Yes, it's the last floor, okay. okay. These rocks are in the way. I'm going to just blow them up. Okay, we did take a hit there. That's okay. As long as we stay in charge and in control. This thing has infinite range, so we can just shoot from across the room. We did exactly that. Battle standard here is incredible. I like that. I'm not going to go to any rooms I don't have to here. But yeah, be being able to just fire this off across the entire room and hope I hit things. Really nice. What we got here. Safety from our own bomb blasts is not that valuable, but I don't know why I wouldn't take it. Okay, let's do the boss. Uh, we'll go to our secret room first here, though. 
Uh, more armor there. We're actually doing pretty well for that. Sadly, we don't have any good potions to go into this with, but hey, her. Yeah, we should get like 150k out of this dude. Maybe a bit more. As long as we can do this for as long as possible without taking damage, so we can keep our uh, range going, we should be fine, which I imagine we can do fairly easily, to be honest. Like, with no plants and stuff to hurt us, getting hit in this fight should be pretty tough. There you go, we got him. Actually, that wasn't as much points as I thought it was going to be. We got... Yeah, we did... That, that, that's not a very high score, really. I thought the score would have ended up being higher than that, but... Hey ho, we made a we made a good effort. We managed to beat the run. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, we also unlocked the Bird of Paradise, the new Phoenix. Good -er. And we end on a score of 388, I think. 388. Not terrible. We definitely could have done better, I think. We were quite slow, but let's let's check where that stacks us up against the uh, the current. Leaderboards. Yeah, 10th. I'm going to say I wasn't expecting it to be all that great. But 10th is, is still pretty fucking good. Uh, I'm definitely glad of that score. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.